You're listening to the IFF TV podcast. we have to um, now go and, and win on Saturday uh, it makes it a very important game we know that um, but yeah there's I think we can take some some positives from the performance tonight and and head into that game with with some confidence and um, yeah we know that when you're playing these type of games um, the majority of them are, are must win games to, to qualify for a World Cup you have to be winning games so um, whether, we'd have, whether we would have won um, drawn or lost like we did tonight, we would be going into Saturday needing to win. So um, nothing changes there, and um, yeah, we we just we just look to have a couple of good days now, building into into the game on Saturday, and and going with with, with confidence from, like I said, some of the positives from from the game tonight. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Neil Redden, please. Yeah, um, yeah. When the manager obviously told me I was I was starting, I was I was delighted um, to to get my first competitive start for my country was 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 a really proud moment for me and my family. And um, yeah, of course, from from the moment he he told me, I was excited um, and, and looking forward to the game. Uh, it was a tough game against a, a good side tonight. Um, at times, uh, they've got some some very good players, um, but I think. We, in the main, um, applied ourselves well, and like I said, I think we can take some some positives from the game, as well as um, a lot of things that, that we need to, to to work on and and um, and try and get better as a team. Um, and hopefully, we can, like I said, in, in in the next couple of days, we can we can work on a few of those things and um, keep improving as a team and and, um, and and look forward to the rest of the campaign. Yeah, um, any any player needs to to be playing games to to prove and and show what what they can do and what they're about, I suppose. So, um, yeah, to move to to a massive club like Anderlecht, um, um, and and experience a, a different league and and um, yeah, different different style of football, I suppose, um, has been beneficial for me. I feel and um, but yeah, the, like I said, the the most important thing for any player is to be playing games and. And, and I've been doing that at Anderlecht and, and um, I've, I've felt in, in, in pretty good shape myself. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been, a, been a good start there so far. Damien Spalman, PA, please. <clears throat> Yeah, um, like you said, they're they're a, they're a quality outfit and um, able to make make changes like like you said, bringing bringing someone like Mitrovic off the bench. Um, but yeah, of course, that's the level we need to be at. Um, and I think there was positives tonight from from the way we played and our performance at times, um, as well as things we know we need we know we need to get better at and can get better at. But um, yeah, I think um, we know the level. Um, and, and we just have to keep working hard as a team and as individuals to keep getting better and um, and look forward to the next game. Thank you. Thank you. Brendan, please. Hi, Josh. Uh, can you just let us know maybe uh, how much work were you able to do on the three five two system and how do you think it went tonight? Um, yeah, to be honest with you, not, not a lot of work we will be able to do. Um, the, the squad met up on on Sunday. I met up with the the squad on Monday. Um, so yeah, not um, 
days and days or weeks on the training pitch, obviously. So, um, yeah, there was a lot of information um, about the system and, and, and the way we wanted to go about the game, I suppose, crammed into to a couple of days of working together. Um, but I feel like um, the, the, the system worked well and, uh, and, and we we showed some, some positive progress um, and, 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 and we can take positives from the game and, and from the system. So yeah, um, yeah, not a lot of time to, to work together, but like I said, another two two or three days now to, to work together before Saturday um, and keep trying to get better as a team. Thank you. Thank you. Emmett Malone. Hey Josh, um, can I ask you, you mentioned a few times about positives and, and maybe the things that, that didn't go so well tonight. Can you can get into that a little bit? Can you tell me what the, what the, the key positives from your point of view are, what you thought that the, the team did particularly well this evening? Yeah, I just think um, that we we restricted um, um, Serbia to, to, to a few, only a few chances um, and they were they were very clinical to be fair to them. I think some of our build up play from the back was good um, and um, and I think we, we we were a threat and uh, and when we we got into to good areas with with Brownie in the 10 and, and Robbie when he came on um, I think there was chances chances there for us and and, and at times we were good in possession so by no means are we getting carried away with the performance, um, thinking that we're we're there. And but I think there's there's things that we can look at and analyse and say, yeah, we 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 done certain things well. And I'm sure there'll be plenty of things we can look at as well and and um, uh, and know that there's there's a lot to work on as well. So um, yeah, we we just need to to, to analyse the game and um, and look at the things we did well and, and and the things that we we didn't do so well. Was tiredness a factor in the ten minutes spell that Bill had eight where Mitch just got two goals? Um, I don't think so. I think um, obviously it, it was a tough game. Um, it's, it's natural for players to get tired towards the towards the end of a game and, and at that stage of a game. But um, I think everyone's seen it at that time. Um, yes, it, it, his first goal was a, a world class finish, and and then yeah. and, and then his second one's a, a another great header. Um, yeah, we could, but we'll have to look back at it and and see what, what what we could have done better to prevent to prevent the chances. But um, yeah, like I said, we we just have to move on now, um, take the positives, and uh, uh, and learn from from our mistakes as a team, and and um, and, and come out stronger for it. And can I just ask you, could you do you think the formation the system switch um, was was kind of specific to? Countering a strong team like Serbia away, or is it something that that you kind of could see this this Ireland team moving forward with against teams like Luxembourg at home? Yeah, I mean um, that's probably a, a a question for the manager. Um, he's obviously the one that that, um, that will choose what formation we play in in each game. But I think we've shown that we can play different formations, um, and uh, and whichever one the manager chooses, we've we've got players that can can, can play those formations. So. Yeah, whichever the, the the manager decides to to choose, then then we'll be be ready to go. Okay, thanks very much. Thank you. Okay, final couple of questions, Paul Lennon, please. Thanks, Kieran. Josh. Um, well done uh, on the performance. The big statement by the manager to put you into the team tonight in such a big game. Um, how important do you think that is for your future development in, in this uh, Ireland team? Yeah, um, obviously, yeah, I was delighted to, to to be in the team tonight. Um, like you said, in in a big game to start to start a World Cup campaign, um, and yeah, you you want to be playing in in big games like that. And um, yeah, I was was delighted to play, and and I think I'll only um, benefit from the experience in in playing in a game like that um, against a good side, and 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 hopefully I can I can build on that performance moving forward. Team, the Ireland team dominated good spells of the game tonight, but other times maybe did you concede a bit too much space in vital areas? Yeah, I think it's it's um it's it's easy to say that um they've got some very good players in the final third who, who pick up clever positions, um and sometimes it's 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 hard to deal with um, but playing a, a new system tonight um again that's something we'll go away and look at and and see how we can can prevent. Maybe giving away a little bit too much space in in dangerous areas, 
and um, I'm sure we'll only get stronger for for analysing it and and working on it um, it, um, on the training field. Thank you, Josh. Thank and you. Just one last question for Mark McAdam. Just got enough time for one. Yes. Um, just spoke to Todd about the importance of not underestimating the challenge of Luxembourg on Saturday. Yeah, of course. Yeah, there's there's no international team um, that you can ever underestimate. Um, the approach and, and mindset of the team, I'm sure, will be no different um, coming into this game tonight um, and the Luxembourg game on Saturday. So yeah, there'll be definitely no um, underestimating them from us. Um, and, and now full focus turns to to Saturday and, and making sure we we put in a strong performance and um, and get the result that we're all after. Thank you. Okay, guys, thank you very much and thanks for your patience tonight. We had a bit of an issue with uh, 